Today I'm going to show you how to create this rocket illustration in Adobe Illustrator. You could use this for space themed t-shirt designs. It could probably work well as kids t-shirts for like a birthday maybe. I can see it working well as stickers as well or as digital downloads on Etsy for example. So jumping into Illustrator, I've got a blank artboard ready right here and the right hand side already has my color scheme prepared. So I'm going to use the top four colors for the rocket itself and the bottom ones for the sort of thrust coming out of the bottom of the rocket. Now you can feel free to screenshot this color scheme and use it in your own project or obviously if you prefer use your own colors instead. To begin drawing the shape of our rocket, Go over to the tool panel and select the ellipse tool. You can also hit L on your keyboard to do that. And then you want to make sure that you only have a stroke color selector down here and not a fill. It, it doesn't really matter which colors you're using for now because we'll change them later anyway. Okay, then the first step, you want to just draw out one circle like so. Hold down Alt and Shift while you're doing that so it stays in like normal circle proportions. Then you want to copy that across. So now you have a second circle, you want to make sure the space in the middle of it is quite narrow because that's going to be the shape of our rocket. Then select both of these circles, choose the shape of the tool over here from the tools panel or hit shift M on your keyboard to do that. And then we can delete these outer bits by holding down alt and dragging across them. Next up, you want to draw another circle at the top of your rocket. Make sure it's actually aligned to the center. You can use the smart guides for that. As you can see, I have this pink line right here. If you don't see that yourself, go to view and make sure smart guides is ticked. Draw out a circle up here and pull it up so it basically just covers the tip of your rocket. Stack both of the circle and the rocket body. Then hit shift M on your keyboard for the shape builder and once again delete this top bit. Next up we want to create the little fins or wings that you see at the bottom here. To do that, once again we're going to use the ellipse tool and you want to draw out the circle from this bottom point. Just click, hold down Alt and Shift on your keyboard while dragging out and make them about this big. Uh, while you have the circle selected, hit Control C to copy and Control F to paste in front on your keyboard. Now we have another circle on top of the one we just created and we can just drag this down while holding Shift to about there and then select all of the circles and your body shape of the rocket. Once again, select the Shape Builder tool and erase these bottom parts, and then you just drag down here, get rid of those lines that we would need. And now, as you can see, we have the individual fins here on the side, our main body, and this tip. The last thing to do for the sort of main shape of the rocket is a window. And once again, we need the ellipse tool for that. While it's centered, draw another circle up here, then Control C, Control F. Now we have another circle, just make that a bit smaller, like so. Then next up, we want to create a rectangle down here. So hit M on your keyboard or select it from the toolbar. For this step, it might actually be easier to hit Control Y on your keyboard for the outline mode, because then it's easier to align our rectangle to some of these points. So you want to start it here where the fin or the edge of the fin meets the main body of the rocket. So start pulling from there, make the top right corner meet the other edge of the other fin basically. And then draw this rectangle down a bit like so. Exit the outline mode by hitting Control Y again and then use the direct selection tool, select both the bottom left and the bottom right corner of the rectangle. You have to hold down shift to select both of those points. Then hit S on your keyboard for the scale tool. Now by clicking anywhere on your artboard and holding down, you can drag either to the right or to the left to change the scale of these two points basically. And you want to drag them to the right a bit like this. Go back to the selection tool, select both of this rectangle and the main body of your rocket. Go back to the shape builder tool and now we're going to basically combine these shapes by just dragging over them. Delete this bottom one and there we go that's all our shapes created. Now we're going to move on to actually coloring this in. So I'm going to color the main part of the rocket in this beige then the tip and the fins will be this orange color tone over here as well as the sort of window surround then the main part of the window will be blue the bottom thruster is going to be this dark orange right there now to make this look less bland we want to add some highlights and shadows to just give it some depth and some interest so uh, there's a few different methods to do this uh, one would be to basically use this main shape 
of your rocket, copy it, so Control c on your keyboard and Control f to paste it in front, then change the colour of this new shape to white, then go to transparency, if you don't have this panel anywhere visible then go to window, make sure that transparency is ticked and then go from normal blending mode into overlay. Then you need to also turn down the opacity to say 50%, scale this down just a bit like so and then move it over to the side, I'm going to just move to the left side, as you can see it's created a highlight on our rocket, move the tip down by selecting just that shape, then hit a control and downwards bracket, oh, just, just to there, as you can see you don't want to move it down too far so you can't see it all but uh, just to about there so the highlight actually overlaps the tip as well. Um, another thing I would recommend doing is just rounding out the edges of this like this top sharp bit or these bottom sharp bits it doesn't really look that good so while having this shape selected hit the direct selection tool and just drag one of these little circle icons right here to make these sharp points rounded off and once you're happy with the positioning select both the highlight shape and the main sort of body part of your rocket hit shift m for the shape builder tool and just delete this sort of excess part on the right uh, on the left hand side then i'm going to add some shadows to these fins right here and to do that i'm going to use the pen tool this time start drawing up from this bottom anchor point and draw out a shape sort of like this then just finish it off any old way it doesn't really matter as long as it overlaps the fin all the way because now we're going to select both this shape and the fin use the shape builder tool just to delete the excess and then i will sample once again this dark orange right here to make it look like a shadow now you could do this different ways by once again using the transparency panel but i just wanted to show you a few different options sometimes one is quicker than the other or easier to do so once again I'm going to repeat this process for the other side sometimes the smart guys do get in the way a bit but once you've drawn out this shape once again delete the excess with the shape builder and there you have another bit of shadow right there now we need to do a little bit of work on this window as well select the blue part of the window and make this a bit bigger I'll just hit ctrl C and ctrl F to paste another one in front change the color to white change the transparency mode to overlay opacity down to about 40 and then I will scale this circle down a bit move it over to the top left like so and that's created another nice highlight on our window another way to create highlights that I quite like to use is using the pen tool with a white stroke color selected drawing sort of a, a quarter of a circle like this select that with the selection tool click this one that says uh, uniform which brings it into the width profiles just select the first one right here and if you zoom out as you can see that's created a nice little highlight i'm going to do the same thing on the left hand side on this rocket just to put some more emphasis on the fact that the lights coming from there draw out a line that sort of matches the arch of the rocket right there once again select that stroke and change the width profile to this one now that line's quite thin so you might want to play around with the stroke width as well and there we are that's added a lot of depth to our illustration you could obviously go more in depth with this and add some more uh, if you wanted to but uh, yeah just just feel free to play around and come up with your own ideas there now the last thing i'm going to do is actually add the thrust that's coming out the bottom here and to do that i'm going to hit the rectangle tool from the tool panel right here you could also click m I want to change that to fill and maybe change the color to something we can actually see like this orange and yeah just draw out rectangles that are quite long and thin and we want to make them four in our case so just copy across by holding alt and shift down and i'll just duplicate by clicking Control d as well that was actually pretty close <laughs> you want to you want to match the width of this exhaust thingy right here so to do that select all of the rectangles that you just created and just pull by one side until the smart guys tell you yes we've we've hit the edge right there then once you've done that change the colors uh, i have the color scheme ready right here on the right hand side and then i just want to make the bottom points right here wider i'm going to use the same trick that we used for the sort of exhaust piece right here with the direct selection tool select 
all of the points at the bottom of these rectangles then hit the scale tool by clicking S on your keyboard or find it right here in your toolbar and then just drag out to the right like so and there you go there's your finished rocket illustration feel free to add more to this maybe a background some stars and you know some text to obviously make it more unique design that fits your niche i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was easy to follow along if you still have any questions just leave them in the comments down below if you like graphic design tutorials as well as t-shirt design then i would recommend checking out this video where i show you how to create boho rainbows in adobe illustrator